Hey everyone, welcome to Neil's World and in today's video, let me show you how to install Windows 11 Insider Preview built on your Mac OS. Go to VMware website and you will have, you will find this Fusion for Mac link over here under products. So click on Fusion for Mac and it is a paid software, but the personal license is free to use. So go ahead and click on this link register your fusion player or register your license now once the space is loaded you need to log into a vmware account if you do not have an account create one and log in i already have one and i have logged into my account you will see a registration page for the license to download or for the license personal license i already have done it that is why i do not see the registration page Fill up the registration page, you will go into your license details. So you can download your license or and your software. So here it is manually download. You can see the link manually download where you can download the software VMware Fusion player. Also, you can copy the license number or the license key shown. It is downloaded to my downloads folder. Double click to open the installer. And double click on the VMware Fusion icon to install Fusion on your Mac. It takes some time and click on open to continue. So once you enter your password, the installation will complete. The next step is to VMware Fusion is installed. You need to enter your license key when you have first installed your VMware player. I have already done it previously, that is why it is not asking me for the license key. The next step is to download the Windows 11 virtual disk. So go to Windows 11 Insider Preview link. I will give it in the provide it in the description. So go to Windows Preview, Windows Now link, and then you need to have one Microsoft account. If you do not have one, register a Microsoft account and go for the windows insider program and then once you logged into your microsoft account and go to the insider program windows insider program you can download different isos or different insider os in the insider preview downloads function you need to click on the windows 11 arm preview builds once you're in the page you need to select your channel your edition i have selected the beta edition because it is the most stable one and then select your language and confirm so once you confirm your language it takes some time and you will have the download option now you can click on the download now button and it is a big download it is around 10 gb of space so download will take some time it will depend on the internet speed that you're having that you have and save it to your folder i will save it to my downloads folder and it will take some time i will speed up the process and i will come back once the download is finished so now the download is finished it is the vhdx file and there you have this vhdx file now we need to convert it into a different format for this you go to this website brew.sh and copy this code and open your mac terminal so copy this code i will put it in the link in the description as well copy this code open terminal in your mac os and then paste this code to install the brew script so it will also take some time to install this script you also need to enter your mac os password so enter your password and the installation will continue and the installation will take some time i will speed up the process and once it is done what you need to do you copy the line code of line that is shown in the installation in the window you copy and paste this to add this brew commands to your default command list so copy this command and paste it into your terminal paste in the terminal window now it will now I will see whether we can install QEMU. To install QEMU, uh, run brood 
install QEMU. I will give all the commands in the description so you don't have to mind what descript what commands you need to give to the terminal. So it will also take them some time to download QEMU and install it. I will speed up the process and it, it takes some time, a little bit of around five minutes or so, depending on the internet speed that you have. The QEMU is installed. Now we will ins use this convert the VHDX image to VMDK. VMDK image is the readable image of Fusion. So copy this code, paste it and drag the VHDX file from your downloads folder to the terminal window. So you'll require to use it in a terminal window. And then followed by the path for your uh, new image file. So I will put it in my desktop and there, there the code is pasted and it has you can see you it is already there in the desktop it will say, take some time for the whole conversion to take place and the size of the converted image will be almost similar to the one that you have already downloaded now it is done i will get out of this terminal window and now i will be back to the fusion machines i will create a custom virtual machine will continue now we will install the 11 choose a virtual disk choose the image make a separate copy of the virtual disk select that option and then once you continue you will have the option to customize some of the settings i will go with changing my cpu cores so it will copy the disk over to the virtual machine folder and it will take some time so once it is done i will go to the settings and processor and memory i will up increase the number of cores to four and that is enough for me and i will start the virtual machine so once it is started vmware it will take some time to load windows installation it will take some time be patient with it now we can see the windows is booting up so i will select my country as india go find my country here in the list but before that let me go to the settings this oobe setting how we went there we went there by pressing function shift f10 going to this command line window and i will just write down oobe forward slash oobe forward slash this bypass nro bypass nro that means you need to bypass the network requirement otherwise you would have required to get connected to internet now you don't require to connect to the internet now we are again at windows installation we will go find my country that's done select your input layout i will go with us i don't require a secondary keyboard layout now click on i do not have internet and then continue with limited setup accept a license agreement and continue put your name and click on next you can enter a password i will enter a password and if you enter a password you also need to give some password hints and i will deselect everything as privacy settings i don't want this information to be shared i will deselect all this information all these tick marks all these options it's up to you whether you allow that to continue or not now once windows sets of things for you it will take some time it 
you need to be patient with the installation process it will take some time yes it's almost done and now because there may be some newer version that is why this message is there i will close this message out now you can see that there are certain icons not visible or these icons are inactive to solve that what we will do we'll go to you can see there is icons grayed out to solve that portion go to the windows powershell run as administrator and type this code set execution policy dash i'm in space remote signed and enter now yes there is some typographical mistake that's why you need to type set dash execution policy space remote signed and once you type this correctly your you can go ahead and do some of the things and you need to select all to say uh, to say yes to all type a and go ahead now next step step is to install the vmware tools for that you need to go to the virtual machines and reinstall vmware tools you need to reinstall the vmware tools now your cd dvd drive will be visible and go to your explorer and go to your cd dvd drive go to your explorer and go to your cd dvd drive and find a set of file right click on it and open with powershell so once you do it the vmware tools will install all the required drivers for your virtual machine for windows so it will take some time to install different drivers like the graphics driver or the network driver or display driver etc so it will take some time to install all the required drivers and then you will have you will have different options to use your windows 11 on your mac machine like uh, the display you may not be able to go beyond 10 uh, a lower resolution if you do not do this step if you do this step your graphics drivers will be installed and you can go to the native resolution of your display now if you go to this windows button again you can see that all those icons are back because they require internet by doing the reinstallation of the virtual machine tools and other things we got to the setup correct now i can change the display settings here earlier it was 10 24 7 68 i can change to different resolution and you can change other stuff as well i will go ahead and select a higher resolution for the display so, and you can go to keep settings so that your settings are preserved new settings are preserved once your settings are preserved you will have a better quality display for your new installation and you can also change the scaling scale to check that all the icons are visible properly you can go to the scale and you can change the display resolution i have wrongly selected something so i will select a different resolution and then i will go to the scale i will scale it up a little bit so that my icons get visible properly i will go to 175 maybe 200 yes it, it looks a little bit more than required it's bigger uh well what i'll do i can change this to a little bit lower resolution lower scale 175 that will do 
So that is how you uh, can customize your Windows 11 installation on your Fusion player. And you can do a lot of customization or any other things that you would like to do with your Windows. The next thing that I would like to do is go to Windows Update and check for any updates that is available for the Windows 11 version that is installed in the virtual machine. And one more thing to keep in mind is that this Windows is not activated. You may require to use a key to continue using your virtual Windows 11 version.